Hello everyone, welcome to my own server. Um, today we're going to be taking a look at how we install um, Drupal on uh, XM 1.7.1 and uh, if you haven't already done so you, you need to download and install uh, a zip program. Uh, I recommend 7-zip for this. Uh, it's a free one and you will need it to be able to extract your Drupal file. Now right here I have Drupal on here and as you can see it's a tarball zip file which is a Linux form of uh, archiving and we're going to go ahead and right click on that and go to 7-zip and then we're going to extract here what we'll notice is now we have another one and this one instead of saying tar.gz it says tar just tar on the end of it we're going to go ahead and extract that one more time this time we'll extract to Drupal All right, now we have a folder. This we can work with. We open it up, look inside, and then we have our Drupal files. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and select all of these. I'm going to just edit and then select cut. I'm going to minimize that. I'm going to go to my computer, go to our C drive, go to XAMP, go to my htdocs folder. And I've already deleted my index files. If you haven't, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and do that now. And then I'm just going to right click and paste all my Drupal files here. And now I'll go ahead and minimize this. Uh, actually, I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and do a step that we're going to have to anyways. Uh, under your sites folder and your where you uh, paste your Drupal files, open that up and then click on default. And right click on this and then copy and then right click paste and then click on it and rename it. It needs to be settings.php. All right, so we'll avoid that, avoid getting asked for that uh, during the setup period. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do, uh, we do have our XAMPP server running, I believe. Go ahead and open it up. And, okay, yeah, we have MySQL and Apache running, so we're in good shape. Um, what I'm gonna open up next is uh, my web browser. And I'm going to go to localhost forward slash php my admin. And then I'm going to go ahead and sign in as my root user. All right, and we need to create a new database. This can be named anything. Um, I'm just going to call it Drupal for simplicity. Click create. I'll click the little house key again. All right, and then I'm going to click uh, Privileges tab. And then I'm going to go right here to where it says Add a New User. And I'm going to select for user, I'm going to, uh, you can name this anything. I'm just going to say uh, Drupal User. And for host, we need to select Local Host. And then for password, I'm just going to generate a password. And then click Copy. I'll select this, right click on that password, and then click copy to. Alright, and then we'll go down here and uh, leave everything else unchecked and just click go. Alright, so now we've added the new user. We need to go right down here to the database specific privileges, and then we need to select our database that we just created. And now, uh, now having being in the correct database, we'll go ahead and click check all. We'll go down and click go. All right, so now we've granted uh, user permissions to the database Drupal, uh, to the user Drupal user. All right, so the next thing we need to go do is type in the address to our Drupal uh, install, which in my case I put in htdocs, so it's just going to be localhost. Press enter. And now we're prompted to uh, install Drupal, so I'll go ahead and click install. And as far as database type, MySQL is uh, perfectly fine. The database name is Drupal, or whatever you named it. The database user is Drupal user. And that password, I'm going to right click and paste that big old password right there. 
and we shouldn't need the advanced options. This is, uh, you can go ahead and set a prefix if you'd like to, but all this should be right. And then click save and continue. Alright, so now we need to give the site name, uh, give the site name. site email address and then uh, go ahead and give uh, create a administrator login I don't recommend this uh, I choose a good name because the better you choose a name the uh, more secure it is This is pretty neat. It tells you uh, how strong your password is, which the one I use for my tutorials is not strong at all. Um, default time zone. Go ahead and select whatever time zone you're in. And if uh, if it's able to do the clean URLs, it'll go ahead and test here, and it says I am. So we'll go ahead and leave that enabled. If not, uh, you can disable that feature. Check for updates automatically. It sounds great to me. Click save and continue. Okay, let me see. That's perfectly fine. That's for our mail server. We don't have a mail server set up, so uh, we'll live with that. Um, it tried to send out a confirmation email saying that uh, that I had successfully installed it. So now we can go ahead and click on your new site. And now we have our Drupal site installed. It's really simple. We can. Uh, this is our front page to our Drupal site. We can click on this. You see, it's a front page. You go to Administer, and now you can go ahead and start setting everything up. Um, Drupal is pretty easy. Uh, you just go through here. You can even follow it through the through these steps. Um, just kind of go down this uh, one by one there and uh, configure everything to how you want it configured. Um, the quickest way to get started adding content is, where is that? Oh, create content. That's pretty simple, huh? Create pages, stories, and uh, if you enable the blog, you can create blogs, uh, forums, everything. So there you have it. That's how you install Drupal on XM 1.7.1. Thanks for watching.